My name is Dan. I'm a teaching artist with Snow City Arts. I use the pronouns he, him, and his. All right, are you ready? So today we're all going to be surrealists. At the turn of the century, there was this group of artists that were called the surrealists, and they were from all different art forms. There were painters and sculptors, visual artists, writers, filmmakers, and all of these surrealists were really interested in dreams. See, at the time, there was this famous psychologist whose name was Sigmund Freud. And Sigmund Freud had just released some theories that had really excited the world that talked a lot about dreams and the importance of dreams. Freud said that dreams were important to helping us to understand ourselves and that they were meaningful. So these surrealists started making work about dreams and about the space in between our waking lives and our dream lives. And a lot of really beautiful and weird stuff came out of it. They came up with all sorts of processes for helping them to create art without using their awake minds. And a lot of them really like to work together to make art, collaborating on pieces together. These surrealists came up with a lot of tricks and techniques and processes to help them make work without using their awake minds. A lot of them like working together, collaborating on works of art using creative games. And probably the most famous of these games is what we're going to learn today, and it's called The Exquisite Corpse. It's a kind of weird name, huh? In order to play this surreal drawing game, each player is going to need a piece of paper and something to write with. In this game, I like to draw with a plain pen or pencil and then add color after the whole drawing is done. I'll come back to that later. To get started, you should have received a paper that's already folded into three parts with two pairs of little lines drawn here and here where the paper folds. I'm gonna show you how I did that now in case you wanna play again later. What's great about this game is that all you need is a pen and paper to play. All right, now that we have our paper folded with a pair of lines here and a pair of lines here, we're ready to start drawing. Now, what are we gonna draw? You might ask yourselves. Well, that's a very good question that you might ask yourselves. And the answer is today, we are going to make an exquisite corpse of a creature, uh, a surreal creature. And your surreal creature is gonna have a head, a body, and legs. We're all going to start on the head, but the head could be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a head like any head you've ever seen before. It could be a smiley face, or a cat's head, or a light bulb, or whatever you've pulled from the last time you dreamed. The only rule is that the lines of the neck, here and here, must connect to these two lines we drew earlier, where the paper folds. Does that make sense? Here. I'll show you, and then you can pause the video, and it'll be your turn to draw. I'm going to draw a dog's head, but my dog is going to wear glasses and a hat. A dog and a hat is definitely something I might see in one of my dreams. All right, see how the line from this side of the dog's neck connects to the line I drew before? and how this other side of the dream dog's neck connects to this other line I drew before, that's going to be important later. It's gonna make it so that all of the parts of our drawing blend together as one drawing in the end. Okay, now it's time to pause me. I want you to draw now. Just draw the head of your creature, nothing else. And I want you to focus on texture. I want you to focus on details. Make sure you got a lot of texture and details. And I want you to take all the time you need and when you're ready to keep going, just unpause me and I'll tell you the next step. Are you pausing me? You can pause me. It's time to pause me. I'm ready to be paused. Did you pause me yet? Pause me in this position. Pause me like this. Pa yeah, this is good. Pause me like this. All 
Great. Okay. All right. Did you do it? Are you done? Excellent. Excellent work. Great. Uh, can I see it? Here, hold it up to the screen. Let me see it. Yeah. Awesome. Rad. Okay, cool. I think we're, we're ready to move forward. So, without letting anyone else see what you've drawn, we're going to fold up the head we drew inside of the paper. So the middle of the paper is facing up. It should be the blank middle of the paper with the two necklines here at the top and the two waistlines down here at the bottom. And now that the first part of our drawing is hidden away, I'm going to pass my paper over here to my collaborator, John. I'm going to be super careful to make sure John can't see what I drew. Hey, John, uh, can you see what I have drawn? No, I can't. Excellent. Great. And John, would you like to walk them through the next step in the exercise? I do. Thanks, John. Hi, I'm John, and I use he, him pronouns. Everybody that's playing the game should watch the whole video so you know what's going on. The second person to draw should have just received a piece of paper that's folded up so that you can't see the drawing of the head. What you should see on your paper is two lines up above here, those are the necklines, and two lines down here, those are the waistlines. Now we're going to start to draw the body, and it can be anything you want as long as it's surreal, something you've seen in your dreams. Here, first I'll show you. I'll draw my body. My body is going to be a tree with very thick branches. Then you pause the video so you can draw your body. I'm going to draw a tree for a body because I think that will look pretty surreal. All right, see how the lines from top connect to the lines of the body? and how the bottom lines connect to, to these other lines I drew before. That's going to be important later. It's going to make it up so that all the parts of our drawing blend together as one drawing in the end. Okay, now it's time to pause me. I want you to draw a body now. Just draw the body of your creature, nothing else. I want you to take as much time as you like and draw a surreal creature's body. Something dreamy. Oh. And if you're playing with someone else, make sure they can't see what you draw. That's important. All the parts of this drawing should stay a secret until the very end. Ready? Okay, did you finish? Can I see? All right, that's great. I think we can keep going now. Let's move forward. So, without letting anyone else see the top or the middle drawings, we're gonna turn it over. So the final blank rectangle on the bottom of the page is showing. Be careful not to peek. The head is going to be under here somewhere, and I know it'll be tempting to take a look, but resist that temptation. Now the bottom section of the paper is facing up. This is the last part. The two waistlines should be here at the top now. So we're ready to pass it along. You can pass it to a third person so that three people can collaborate on this drawing, or you can hand it back to the person who drew the head or you can hide it away until you've forgotten what you've drawn and then come back to complete the third part yourself. No matter what you choose, don't peek. I'm gonna pass my paper over to my collaborator, Allie, now. Here you go, Allie. Thanks, John. You see how Allie's being careful with the paper so she doesn't see what was drawn before? Nope. We wanna save that step until the end. It'll be a great surprise. Are you ready to take them through the final step? I'm on it. Great. Hi everybody. I'm Allie. I'm a visual artist. I use the pronoun she, hers, and I'm going to walk you through this last part of the drawing. Everybody playing the game should have watched the whole video with us because we're pretty much going to do the same thing again. The third person is going to draw legs on the bottom piece of the paper. Remember, we don't want to look at the top two parts because those are a secret until the very end. The third person who's drawing the legs are going to want to make sure that you connect your legs to the two drawing notches 
that you see at the top of your paper. All right, I'm gonna show you first and then you can do your drawing. Great. I'm going to draw a mermaid's tail for legs. I want my mermaid swimming in a fish tank with clouds. I'm going to make this extra weird. Okay, so just to review before you start your own drawing, you want to make sure that your drawing connects to those two top lines on your rectangle where your drawing space is going to be. This is really, really important and in a bit you'll see why. Now it's time to pause the video one last time. I want you to draw your legs now. Just the legs. Go ahead and get surreal. Get really weird. All right, did you finish? I'm going to hand my drawing now back to Dan and we can all see what we just made. So now that I'm done with my drawing, I'm going to now fold it up so that when I pass it back to Dan, he can't see it until the very end, the big reveal. Here you go, Dan. Thanks, Allie. Great, all right, is everybody ready to go? I'm gonna unfold it now, okay? Great, drum roll, please. Here you go. All right, yeah, great, wow, awesome. That's fantastic, That's it's really surreal. Uh, yeah, I like all the specifics. I like uh, I like how surreal these arms are that John gave us, and I really love all the details and specifics that Allie gave us with the fish tank legs. Cool. So once you have your surreal creatures, you can color them in, add details and backgrounds. You can name your creatures. You can even give them speech bubbles and make them say whatever you want them to say. The character we drew today might say, hey, I'm a dog, but look at these. What do you think? It's pretty cool, right? Hey, thanks for making art with us today. I would love to make some other cool stuff with you later if you're up for it. Have a good one. Bye. Thanks for making art with me today. We've got some other cool workshops, and I hope you'll check those out too.